Here we're going to do multiplication and then division of numbers that have decimals in them. So multiplying numbers with decimals is actually very easy. For example, if we have 3.964 times 0.25, when you, you just do the multiplication like you normally would and forget about the decimals. So if you don't know how to do this multiplication, you can look at the uh, video on my Facebook site. So 5 times 4 is 20, 3 to 2, 5 times 6 is 30, plus 2, 32, 5 times 9 is 45, plus 3, 48, 5 times 3 is 15, plus 4 is 19, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 9 is 18, plus 1 is 19, and 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Then you add these up, 0, 10, 11, 19, 99. So we're left with this number. So now where we decide to put the decimal in the final answer depends on how many numbers were behind the decimal in our original two numbers that we're multiplying. So we were multiplying 3.964 times 0.25. There's one, two, three numbers behind the decimal in this, in this uh, number. And there's two in that one. So one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to move the decimal po point in our answer five places to the left. So if we think of it being over here, one, two, three, four, five. So our answer is going to be 0.991. So when you multiply decimals, just do the multiplication. When you get to your answer, count how many digits are behind the decimal or to the right of the decimal and everything that you're multiplying and that's how many times you're going to move your answer, the decimal point in your answer to the left to get a final answer. When we're dividing decimals using long division and again there's a video on long division as well, let's say we're doing 0.25 into 3.964. 3.964 divided by 0.25. Well, when we're doing long division, we can't have a decimal out here. We can't divide by a decimal. So we're going to move this decimal point to the right as many times as it takes to get a whole number. One, two. If we move this to the right too, we have to move this to the right the same number of times, so twice. One, two. So now we write this as 25 into 396.4 because we've moved the decimal twice in each number. And then we just do normal long division like we normally do. 25 into 39 goes once. Subtract, we get 14, 146. 25 into 146 goes five times. 125. Bring four down. 25 into 214 goes 8 times. Remember, now here's where our decimal is, so we bring it straight up in our answer. So we run into the decimal. 25 into 214 goes 8 times. 8 times 25 is 200. 14, we bring a 0 down. 25 into 140 goes 5 times. 125. 25 into 150 goes six times. So that's our answer. 15.856. So just again, when we divide by decimals, uh, make sure that you move the decimal point over, and however many times you move it over to get a whole number, that's how many times you have to move it over in this part as well. And then you just do normal division.